Byron would, would play. He had so much confidence in his game. Ben didn't quite have the confidence in himself as Byron did because he couldn't hit it as straight as Byron. And what he saw in Demerit, Demerit was probably one of the straightest players that ever lived. And that's when the grip change came. That's when he started changing his grip because Demerit played, he had real strong hands and arms. And Demerit played with a very weak left hand grip because he wanted to know he was a hand player. So when you're a hand player in golf, you have to know where the face of the club is. You, you don't deal with your body as much. But Demary could get by with just knowing where the face of the club was. And then Hogan gradually developed that to where he knew where the face of the club was. Well, when he knew where the face of the club was and he could bring all of the other things to the game, his, his incentives and his competitive skills, he, he was a formidable player then when that developed. Um, Demerit played a fade De and, and had that kind of that bow in the left wrist. Right. And you, is that something you think that Hogan developed? Developed, Right, because he, he went from a very strong grip to where he'd almost cut, cut back on it to keep the face from turning over. Because if you've got a strong grip, the face is likely to turn over on you, which was works well in the caddy yard off dirt. But later on, he could see that that wasn't working. You know, when we got to grass and watered fairways and all of the other things that how the game progressed, uh, he went ahead and made the changes then. And he could see that his game, because Ben didn't win a tournament for four or five or six years out there, you know. Uh, like today, the way they throw him off the tour, they wouldn't have never been a Ben Hogan. He'd have missed the cut 50 times. Uh, he'd never made these schools you have to go to. Uh, we lose a lot of great players, a lot of great players, because a lot of players develop later, as the senior tour is proving. Uh, they de develop later on. You don't always can know that at 26, I've got to be Einstein, you know. Now, uh, Hogan, as you've talked to me, often eliminated a side of the fairway. And can you tell me how, you know, what that visual picture was and how the grip maybe had something to do with that? He, he just took a wall up about 300 feet down the left side of everything. His, ha his ball was never going to go over that way, and if it did, it would hit the wall and come down. He, he fixed that in his mind that he was not going to go to the left side of all of the property, not just one hole, all of the property, all 300 acres or wherever we're playing. He would eliminate one side of the property to be on, and that was out. And he built his game on that, that he could go as hard as he wanted to at the ball, and it was not going left. And that's what he, that's what he worked on. 